Greetings and welcome back to Rise of Cultures. So I have been continuing to advance myself in this game slowly, but I have been making progress. And I felt I was getting near the point where I could make an update video when all of a sudden we have a new event. So let's talk about the Mongol event. This is your typical three-week one where you have a structure and you do missions and you get the currency in order to level it up. And if the last event is any indication, there will be a point where you're going to have to spend a lot of gems to advance. So I am going to advance this probably until that moment. But let's talk about what we have here. All right, you can see where I am at the moment here. I am in part three of ten. If I complete this, I'm going to get a thousand of this old currency over here. It wants me to either win a battle or to do 15 long productions. The thing about 15 long productions is it's going to take three hours. And yeah, I can actually do that because I would just essentially require three of my rural farmlands. I mean, I could try to spread it over the other ones, but I don't think it would work out. So it would be three hours. So I decided, why don't we just do a battle? But let's talk about the rest of the event first. All right. Over here, of course, in the upper right, you can see I have 7,630 of that currency. And it's essentially the same thing we had in the previous one, where we're going to do the little trail. Now, the graphics are different, but then again, it's a different theme, isn't it? All right. So, and of course, on the lower right, we have a little switch where we can do five times, which is kind of a big time saver, isn't it? All right, and of course, the building that we're working on, I already have the level one version of it because the game made me make it. I couldn't do any more quest advancement until I did this. Now, what I find interesting about this, it seems to be leaning heavily on one trade item. Now, I am, of course, in the Roman Empire, so it just chose mosaics for some reason. I'm not really sure why that is. Now, I'm getting a lot of mosaics here. I'm also going to get some research. And I think over here, I'm going to get an extra worker. I hope I can actually get there before, well, the game slams the brakes on me, you know. I believe I only got to level six with the last one. So I think I would end up being one short. Hopefully, that's a feature that's been removed. All right. And I really can't see what the next one looks like. Hold it a second. Can we look at, not production upgrade okay there we go there we go so i start this is by the way of course the yurt of the con i don't know what a yurt is but i would like to get the level 10 just because it looks really cool it looks almost identical to the 40 except i guess the 40 just kind of like sparkles i mean it doesn't look any different it just kind of sparkles but i mean i do find it strange that it's just giving us one trade item if you look at the previous one, uh, let's just go over here. Um, I got to level six before I had to stop because it wanted me to spend a lot of gems. You can see from my current production, I'm getting all of the trade items here for, you know, Roman Empire. But I'm also getting the chest here, which can have a lot of money and it can also have a lot of food. The other one doesn't really work anymore. I don't remember seeing any parts of anything coming out of that. I think that was just for the event. But I do, also, it gave me some happiness here, too, for the area. I mean, there's nothing really in the area that wants happiness, but it is giving happiness. Um, so this one over here, the fact that it's only giving one trade item, I find a little strange. But like I said, it is giving a little bit more. I don't know. I can't make the stuff anyway, so any you want to give me is probably useful. I'm hoping I can get that to at least level six before it slams the brakes on me. Let me just grab that. Okay, and before we do the battle, I have done some upgrades here. So let's just talk about a few things that will actually have uh, meaning in the battle. All right, um, you can see I've actually upgraded my cavalry. And I have actually upgraded my cavalry. Uh, not just doing this, I have spent it. It was actually kind of expensive. But again, it's a one-shot deal, isn't it? So I will be going into battle with the new cavalry. I doubt I'm going to be able to fit the siege weapon on the battlefield. I've already done two battles. The first was really unfair because it was such a small battlefield area. I couldn't squeeze a lot into it. Fortunately, my commander abilities are actually kind of good. Um, the second one was better. 
much better. There was a larger attack force, but I did have more stuff on my side, so it actually went a lot easier. The first battle allowed me to watch a video to heal everybody, but I'm guessing that's a one-a-day thing because I didn't have it for the second battle. And I did both of them today, too. All right, so you can see I'm actually getting close, but um, it is going to take a while. As you can see, the research values, you know, public gardens, 52, the uh, underfloor heating, that's 62 over there, and then the, the two at the bottom here, the urban management and dryland farming, you know, those are very expensive, aren't they? And of course, I don't get to my last upgrade in terms of military until legionary, so... I guess maybe if I did Circus Maximus, I might have access to the uh, the legendary, but I kind of fell back and I really do need to catch up on uh, China. I've actually started doing upgrades there of the houses like I'm supposed to do. We'll take a look at that after this battle and then we'll go spend the currency and see how much advancement we can get. Uh, the good thing about these events when you do that spending of the currency, it does give you a lot of stuff like the trade items that you happen to be in in the era you're in. And, of course, uh, a lot of research points, too. Sometimes you can just get an extra 10, which is really good. Um, I'm going to be saving them up because this event asks me to spend them on occasion. And sometimes it'll say, spend 12 on a wonder, or even if it's somebody else's wonder. In that case, it lets you specifically pick how much you want to do it. So having a lot of it is actually useful for advancement. And not a lot else. When you're doing these events... It's really hard to do anything else because, like, for instance, I'm about to use my warriors on the battlefield, so it's harder for me to go and take a region. Although sometimes it says, take a region, which is a little bit tricky for me right now, but, you know, I am getting upgrades, so maybe I can actually do it. All right, so let's go over to here and see what this battle is going to be like. By the way, I did get an extra reward for completing the previous round. Let me just mention that first. I'm wondering if I'll get more. Uh, you might notice the fellow on the right. Yes, I have a mercenary commander token for Genghis Khan. So I don't know if I'm going to get more of those. It's kind of fishy that I would get that early. So if I got more of those, I could stack them up. The thing is, it does look like he's an archer, so I don't know how useful it's going to be. He's probably going to be tough. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. I just thought I would mention that, that they do seem to be giving them in the events. And of course, he is the fellow we're speaking to now, isn't it? He's surprisingly polite, too. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this battle. And this is something I have a question. For those of you who might be doing this event and your earlier eras than me, what is your enemy buff? Because I remember for the previous event, the enemy buff was a plus 30%. And it was like that the whole time. So I'm wondering if they're naturally leveled up. And if you're in a much earlier era, are you getting like a negative one to reduce them? I just find that very interesting. All right, let's go in. Because they don't seem easier. Oh, okay, I guess I'm going to have a lot going on here. All right, let's just throw all of these guys in to begin with. Am I going to have the room? You know, that's interesting. Am I going to... I wish they wouldn't do that because I have to move everybody now, you know? And, you know, this spot over here is open, guys. Just, just thought I'd mention that. I'm wondering, should I throw in the siege weapon? Let's see how much space I have. All right, so put that over there. I don't think that's going to work out for me. All right. Oh, is it, oh, oh, there it actually is no space. You know what? I might end up doing that. Hold on a minute. Um, what do you have? He's got a lot of cavalry, so I might be better off using them. Do I have the space? Because I only need two wide, and there's nothing else I can put in, so I might as well put that in. I mean, there's nothing else I can put in. I mean, I could put the cavalry in, but... I mean, he's got two groups of cavalry, so I might as well use these guys. All right, this is probably going to be tricky, but then again, I have commander abilities, so let's see how this goes. Oh, and this is one round, obviously. It's not one of those two-round situations. All right. Okay, uh, let's take this guy out, and let's do a little heal right in here, and hopefully the bulls will understand. Okay, okay, the... 
Will you not do that? Oh, I hate when they do that. I put you next to a unit. I wanted you to attack that unit. All right. Okay, could you hit that? Oh, wow. That, that siege weapon actually took a lot of um, damage off of there. When you saw the shot, it dropped their health by a lot. So it's actually kind of useful. And of course, it didn't get hurt and neither did my range. And you can also see watch to heal. Yeah, it appears you get one of those a day. So uh, use it wisely. And of course, speaking of that, I need to start doing this. Because I could very well get another um, fight in not too long. As a matter of fact, my guys, I had just put them in. I advanced a little bit. Because it, it was like, okay, you want to give food? I'm like, I got nearly 7 million food. I'm going to give you food. You got capes? I got like 20,000 capes. I'm just going to give you capes. And there was one other thing that it asked for. And then it came back to the what you just saw, fight. So it was like three things between the fights. All right, let me restore these guys. And nobody else got hurt, right? So the siege weapon didn't get hurt. And the I didn't put any horses out, but the range guys didn't get hurt either. Okay. Oh, and you can see I upgraded my uh, Temple of Artemis, so it's a little taller than it was. Okay, so we did this for him, so let's grab that. Oh, solve the negotiation. Let's just look at this. You know, the first one is a no-brainer because you only have three trade items, right? And um, then you have like three rounds, so it's going to work every time. But, I mean, once it starts getting to this, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this, by the way, because I'm sure it's going to ask for soldiers. Okay, so it's up to six. And as you can see, I don't even have the soldier in the middle to do it with. And, yeah, that's actually kind of expensive, so I'm not going to do that. I'll just do the medium productions. Um, I'll actually just start cranking them up right now because they're 10 minutes each, so it takes 30 minutes. And, by the way, I have noticed that there is a new bug, and I am calling it bug. So here's what I noticed earlier on, okay, let's check this, is that when, used to be, when the farms were done with their job, they would give the, um, the farmers back, the workers back. They don't do that anymore. I tested this earlier when I, okay, I got no more. I tested this earlier when I used my farms to do shorts. And they only last for two minutes. So I looked at the clock and then I waited 10 minutes. And the counter of the, um, the workers at the top never changed. When I clicked on it and got the food back, that's when it updated the workers. So either it's not updating that number at the top, which I think is the most likely, or it's not giving them back until I click on it. That is absolutely a change because... When I'm doing these events, you know, in terms of like the medium and such like this, I wait until I have all of the workers back before I gather. So that is definitely a change. Uh, I don't know why that happened. I'm hoping it's a bug that's going to be fixed. But uh, it is a problem. Uh, because like I said, I, I use that to know when they're done. Because I don't want to click on them. Like what I'm doing right now. You know, each one of them is going to be 10 minutes. So... If I was only doing the shorts, right, and they're two minutes each, I wouldn't want to click on them until they were all done. So I would wait until the workers were back and I knew that they were all done so I could click on them and then I could move on with the event. So now I have to actually time it myself. Otherwise, I have to go in and add guys again. It gets a little annoying at that point. I don't know why that's there, but it is definitely a change. Let me just grab this stuff here. All right, so let's spend what we have, right, and see what kind of progress we get. Uh, like I said, I have a level one uh, yurt at the moment, so let's see how far we can get. And I'm not going to waste time. We're just going to do this. And there they go. Looks like something out of a Monty Python movie. Okay, and like I said, I got a whole... I didn't get any trade items... I mean, I do appreciate the research here and, of course, the horsey respawn, but yeah, I got nothing else. That's unfortunate. 
Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do another five, but I do want to do some more advancement here. So I'm just going to do the 830s and I'm going to click on them one at a time. Because I'm curious, what is going on with the trade items here anyway? Because I'm not getting any. Okay, and that's an average home skin for this event. All right. Maybe we'll throw that on something. And K, okay, now I'm getting K. Okay, see, that's good. That's what I was hoping for. I'm just, I was, I found it curious that I didn't get any when I did the five, though. Okay, we're getting close here to being able to get to level two, except I don't have enough. And I'm not going to click on anything that isn't the 810, because if you do the 600, it's a loss. Because the first one gives you one movement, the second one gives you two, the last one gives you three, and movement is what matters. You'll notice at the bottom here, I'm 27 of 30. So if I get the 810, I click on that, I complete it. But if I do the 600, I only get two. So you're going to cost yourself by doing it. So always use the last one, unless you're at the absolute end of the event. In which case, get it whatever you can, right? All right, so we're done. All right, and I didn't get this one up here. I, did, I didn't get enough to go up there. No, I did not get enough to increase this one. All right, but it is the beginning, and it's going to be running for three weeks, or at least until, um, yeah, the gems become required. We'll see. But, I mean, you do get some of that currency every day. I seem to remember that it was like 170. I do think that's what I got. Also, it's important to keep your eyes open for the incidents. Now, I saw an incident over here, uh, but I can't do anything about that right now because I'm making a lot of food and I'm also restoring my military. Um, when I first started, there were three for this event. They were like the standard half an hour. And then you, I think I got like 160 for each one of them, something like that. And by the way, you can see I actually have a lot of research at the moment. I'm just going to kind of hang on to that. Although I think we can probably finish this one. All right, mosaics. I need some mosaics, but you know what? I'm probably going to get some from this event, so I might as well just hold on to them for now. Although I could spend them. Probably not a bad idea, actually. All right, let's just pop over here for a second. Uh, I say that because I know I have two of these open. All right, so why don't we go over here and buy one of those, and then we'll go back up here, and I should be able to do two. Like I said, I had 20,000 of them. Not anymore. Oh, I can't do that one. All right. Um, togas. I have a lot of togas. Okay, I guess that's going to be too much. Oh, well, this this is 30,000. Yeah, yeah, that's not going to be. Unless I buy something else. Because I hate wasting situation, you know? I don't like waste. All right, so I can do them now. All right, there we go. Yeah, I mean, I might as well do that because it's going to... Um, it's going to go to waste anyway. I'm never going to get rid of all of that in the first place. Oh, looks like... Uh, was that the... Uh, oh, that's one of the infantry. That's one of the infantry. I thought it was further down. And, of course, let's take a quick trip over here so you can see my progress in China. Um, I am now starting to upgrade the homes. So I'm starting to upgrade the homes. I have to do... I forget how many he wants me to do. Uh, 13 total. So I am starting to do that. They are a little pricey in terms of, where's the big one? Oh yeah, the tablets. But I mean, I do have a lot of the tablets because I've been kind of saving them up. So I can start uh, trickling these guys in. Which ones are not upgraded? This one is not upgraded. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. All right, this one right here. All right, this one here. All right, that's level four. Let's upgrade that one. Uh, let's see. Any more? There's two down here. All right. And another one over there. All right. And I think there's other ones scattered in there. I think I did all of those. Oh, there's a bunch back here. These guys are a little on the behind side, though, I think. So, all right. And I want to make sure I do have enough for certain things, but I do need to start getting these guys going here, right? All right. 
All right, that'll do for now. And I only have one of these for porcelain, so I try to keep it going at all times. It is costing me a lot of rice, though. That's the thing. Uh, my rice total and the money total are down. So I did upgrade all of my rice farms. They're fully upgraded as much as I can right now. So I'm getting 13000 per on those. But... Uh, yeah, the porcelain is expensive, so I'm wondering how much of it I'm actually going to need. Uh, I'm guessing the people who are ahead of me could tell me that. Yeah, I am seeing now the reason why I wanted the, uh, the rice. Let's just see for a second here. Uh, porcelain, I have 20, nearly 29,000. I think that'll probably do me for a while, so I could probably back... I can certainly back off of the clay, I think, um, which also costs it. Uh, but I'm probably good to go with that so I can let it build up a little bit. Um, there are other things I need, like, for instance, the silk. Uh, those are necessary for upgrades in the main area, right? All right, well, we'll just leave that go for now and head on back. All right, so we have a new event, the Mongol event. And uh, you, too, can have a yurt of your own right down here. A yurt, pardon me, not a yurt, it's a yurt. Um, and whatever... Um, Whatever item they end up giving you uh, based on your um, your era, uh, I would be interested to know if they're all coming from the same location, you know. I forget which one the mosaic comes from, but uh, I do find it a little odd that it's only picking one of them. But, you know, it is giving me a lot of them, so that would be good because I'm not going to be able to make them for a long time. Where is it here? As a matter of fact, mosaic is the last one. Look, 78. Uh, research. Yikes. 78. Oh, and that was, you know what? This. I can't do this. I can't do this. You know the reason? Is because sometimes in events like this, you run into a circumstance where it says, like, do a research. So I have to hold on to this because I know that's going to come up. And I'll probably have to start working on another one as soon as possible. But I want to save up the... Uh, the research. Yeah, it's going to ask me for that. So I desperately want to make sure that that is going to be available. And we got another one of our uh, melees back. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So I'll pop back next week. Hopefully by then I haven't run into the brick wall. Hopefully it was removed. Uh, these events used to be very good. If you put the work into it, you could actually get to level 10. Unfortunately, in the last one, um, they decided that they wanted more gems or something like that. People say, oh, it's always been like that. But no, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. It hasn't. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.